When we sit down for a meal, most of us don't think about what was required to get the food that we eat to our table. Many times, the farther the food travels, the greater its environmental impact. For this reason, access to fresh, local food is critical and will only become more important in the future. But space for growing produce, especially in urban areas, can be limited, seasonal, and expensive. Brad McNamara and John Friedman, two friends from Boston, sought to bring more local food to their city. They started by experimenting with rooftop farming, but when they ran the numbers, they discovered the cost to grow one tomato was $60. They took a step back, looked around their port city, and asked, is there a better place to farm? When a student watches the story of freight farms, they'll be inspired to create new solutions out of existing products. If we think creatively, we have more resources at our disposal than we realize, and we might just create the best solution yet. What did you eat for dinner last night? Do you know where that food came from? For most people in America, their food comes from hundreds, if not thousands of miles away. It was harvested weeks ago, and then flown, shipped, or trucked to big warehouses where it was processed, packaged, then put on a shelf at the grocery store. And tons of food is spoiled along the way. Transporting food around the world is hard on the environment because planes, boats, and trucks emit greenhouse gases, which causes air pollution and contributes to global warming. Eating food that is grown this way is also hard on you because the longer it takes to get from the farm to your table, the fewer nutrients it has and the worse it tastes. Some of us can afford to buy fresh fruits and vegetables from local farmers, but most kids, especially those in big cities, don't have access to fresh, locally grown produce. There's just not enough space to grow food through traditional methods. There must be a way to grow fresh food year-round in urban environments. How would you solve this problem? Many people have been trying to figure out how to grow fresh food in urban environments. Some people create small gardens in their yards, rooftops, or balconies. Others make community gardens with their neighbors. And in some cities, people build greenhouses in industrial areas. But there needs to be even better ways to grow fresh produce for people who need it. Brad and John were in college in Boston when they started working on solving this problem. They started with rooftop farms, but they soon realized that there wasn't enough space to grow enough food to make it cost effective. And they couldn't farm year round due to Boston's harsh winters. Seeing old shipping containers lying around the city, they wondered if they could repurpose these to create farms. From that idea, Freight Farms was born. Each shipping container is climate controlled, uses recycled water, and relies on LED lights, enabling plants to be grown all year regardless of the weather. Food is grown vertically in towers to maximize space, and they have an app which allows you to monitor your farm when you're not there. One container produces two to four tons of food each year. That's 500 full heads of lettuce or 100 pounds of hearty greens a week. Freight farm containers can be located in parking lots, school campuses, and just about anywhere else. No matter where you are, you're able to grow fresh, healthy food 365 days a year, providing locally grown produce to people in areas where it was previously not possible. Since its founding in 2010, Freight Farms has sent more than 200 of its shipping containers to 36 states and 13 countries, including Vietnam, Jordan, and Nigeria. Schools are some of their biggest customers, with each container capable of growing two to four tons of produce per school year. That's a lot of fresh food. Some people are even growing varieties of fruits and vegetables that don't normally grow in their region of the world. In the coming years, Freight Farms hopes to reach even more people who want sustainable, locally grown produce year-round, no matter where they are.